this is video number one and in this video we are going to solve some puzzles on numbers. The first question, when a number is subtracted with its three-fifth, you get 50. What is that number? Okay, let this number be x. And when that x is subtracted with its three-fifth, so when this x is subtracted with its three-fifth, then you get 50. So x minus 3 by 5x can be written as 5x minus 3x divided by 5 is equal to 50. 5x minus 3x is 2x equals to 50 times 5 is 250. And therefore x is equal to 250 divided by 2, you get 125. So option C is the right answer. Let's get to the next question. A number is doubled and 9 is added. The result, when tripled, it becomes 75. What is this number? So, as always, let us say that the number is x. And this number is doubled, so we have 2x and 9 is added, so plus 9. And this result, when tripled, and this result, when multiplied by 3, gives you 75. It becomes 75. So solve this expression and get the value of x. So we have 3 can multiply 2x plus 3 multiplied by 9. So 3 to the 6x plus 3 nines are 27 is equal to 75. 6x is equal to 75 minus 27. You get 48. So x is equal to 48 by 6 and that is 8. 6 8s are 48. So the answer is option C. Let us get to the next question now. Find the number which when multiplied by 15 is increased by 196. So as always we will consider this number as x. So this number x is multiplied by 15. So we have 15x is equal to and when this x is multiplied by 15 it is increased by 196. So x is increased by 196. So x plus 196 is what we get. So solving this for x, we'll get 15x minus x is 14x is equal to 196. And x is equal to 196 by 14. So 14 times 14 is 196. So x is equal to 14. So there's our answer, option A. Moving on to the next question. If the sum of the number and its square is 182, what is that number? So the number, let it be x, so the sum of that number and its square, x plus x square is equal to 182. So we can rearrange this because this is a quadratic equation. We can write it as x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now you get a quadratic equation. So this is A, this is B and this is C. Now you know the formula for a quadratic equation which is if you have to find out the roots of this equation you get x is equal to minus of B plus minus under root of B square minus 4AC upon 2A. This is the formula for finding out the roots of quadratic equation. So put the values of A, B and C in this formula and get the two roots of this equation. So x equals to minus b, b is 1, so minus 1 plus minus under root of b square. So 1 square is 1 minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times a is 1 times c. c is minus 182, so minus 182. Divided by 2 times a, 2 times 1, so divided by 2. This is again equal to minus 1 plus minus under root of 1 minus 4 times minus 182 so minus times minus is plus now we have to solve 4 times 182 and 4 times 182 is 728 divided by 2 this is again equal to minus 1 plus minus under root of 728 plus 1 is 729 divided by 2 so this is equal to if you take the root of 729, you will get it as 27. 
So minus 1 plus minus 27 divided by 2. So this is equal to minus 1 plus 27 by 2 or minus 1 minus 27 by 2. Minus 1 plus 27 is 26 by 2 or minus 1 minus 27 is minus 28 by 2. And that is equal to 26 by 2 is 13 or minus 28 by 2 is minus 14. So negative answer we have to ignore because there is no negative option. Neither we have 13 in these options. So the right answer is none of these. Let us solve the final question now. Thrice of the square of a natural number decreased by 4 times the number is equal to 50 more than the number than the number is. So let the number be x. It has been given that thrice the square of a natural number. So thrice the square of x decreased by 4 times the number. So decreased by 4 times x is equal to 50 more than the number. So 50 plus x. So you can solve this for x. So 3x square minus 4x. This x can go to the left hand side of equals to. So it becomes minus x. So minus 4x minus x will give minus 5x is equal to 50. Again rearranging this 3x square minus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0. So again this is a quadratic equation and we have the formula to find out the roots which is minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So let's put these values which is a, b and c into this formula and get the roots. This is equal to minus b. So minus of minus 5 which is 5 plus minus under root of b square. So minus 5 square is 25 minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 3 times minus 50 upon 2 times a. So 2 times 3. This is equal to 5 plus minus under root of 25 minus minus plus. 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 5 is 60. So 12 times 50 would be 600 divided by 3 twos are 6 which is equal to 5 plus minus under root of 625 divided by 6 which is 5 plus minus under root of 625 is 25 by 6. So you have this as equal to x's value as equal to 5 plus 25 by 6 or 5 minus 25 by 6 and you can ignore this because the value would come out as negative and there are no negative options here. So this is equal to 5 plus 25 is 30 by 6 which is equal to 5. 6 5 is 30. So the answer is option B.